The whole tone scale reminds me of my time at Musicians Institute. I enrolled in private lessons because I was very interested in learning the ins and outs of jazz guitar. I had been playing a lot of blues and blues rock in the clubs all around L.A. I had been doing that for many years beforehand in Chicago. Basically, what was happening was I was really getting tired of playing the same old blues riffs, you know, the same old stuff, like... I was hanging out with a lot of guys that were listening to a lot of different types of music that I hadn't really absorbed before, like Eric Dolphy. Freddie Hubbard was another one. Before, I definitely had been best described as a blues rock guitar player, but I began to be able to stretch out. There are no wrong notes and there are no bad notes, as long as you truly know what you're doing. I was trying to go avant-garde with my own personal playing because it was something that I really wanted to do myself. I'm sure that there are people out there that would ask, hey, why would you ever want to do that? You know, Why would you ever want to play something that isn't really something the average person can do? My answer personally is it was something that I always was interested in. I was really most interested in forms of music that weren't just so easy to replicate. So what are the notes of this whole tone scale? Here we go. <laughs> probably playing major scales, minor scales, pentatonic scales possibly, and many more. But really, it's all about expanding upon it. Hi, this is Marcus Singletary. Please subscribe to my channel.